Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to Working on Change. Today, we're going to be talking about a very interesting comp video. I'm sure some of you guys have already seen it about a lady. Um, uh, unfortunately, um, getting knocked down. Um, it's, it's nothing graphic, nothing graphic, but I will show you. It is a very interesting video. I'm kind of stalling because <laughs> for some reason, the person who's supposed to have this video up for me doesn't have it up them. I mean, I only pay them three dollars an hour I would expect them to be greater than this and show absolute perfection but you know you can't get good workers these days you know just gotta give up on all of them honestly uh, speaking of giving up on them honestly did you guys watch the uh, did you guys watch the uh, Eagles game last night it was pretty good was all right. I mean, I enjoyed it. <clears throat> sure wish that video was up so I could talk to the people. <laughs> Take that back. All right, guys. For my people who are headphone users, please be advised that this is going to hurt your ears. I'm going to have to even turn down my own microphone. It's so bad. So just be ready for that. All right, here we go. Back from, from We're not even gonna watch that part. 797 on 1097 as well. Right. Okay, I'm already gonna tell you this, okay? She are listen. <laughs> I am not condoning what this lady has done. You will see, but she has a soft spot, a soft spot in my heart because she looks like an old friend of mine. Sorry, I know y'all hate seeing the camera thing, but shout, shout out to Vigilant Cam. Not trying to hide their thing down there, but I know y'all hate seeing the timestamps. But yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, she has a soft part, in, a soft spot in my heart because she looks like a friend of mine. Did you take that bag from? From Dollar Tree. Oh no! This you got a receipt for that stuff? Like, oh my gosh, the way she talks and everything—it's just like, ugh. It makes me think. Not saying what she did is right. Okay. Put the stuff on the hood. Put the stuff on the hood. Just put up, put everything, on, put everything on the hood. Just put everything on the hood. No, 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 no. Put the bag on the hood. Put everything on the hood, your the purse, phone, everything like that. Mm -hmm. put, put everything, drop it. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. So, place your hands behind your back. If this is not put your hands behind your back. Okay, let me get my phone first. Put Stop. your hands. Let me get my phone put your hands first. Back. Put your hands behind your back. Headphone people. Sir, I did Turn not. I did not. Okay. About to give up. I did not okay. put everything, okay. ma'am, unless you want everything broken, put it on the hood. Drop okay. it. Drop okay. it. Okay. Ma'am, I drop it. Drop it. Ma'am, I did not put that on. Put your hands on. I did not do anything, ma'am. I did not do anything. Ma you can I call them. Okay. Don't, don't, don't you dare say anything. We will. Though. We will. Put your hands behind your back. Okay, can we go back? Put your hands behind your back. Okay, can we go All back? Right, back? Right, that's enough for that. <laughs> so pretty much she gets arrested so let's go ahead and move forward to where we get to the actual to see what she actually did and this part's actually very interesting to me so we're going to talk to the lady who uh here's the lady who runs the place i'm sure y'all can see that square let me get your information all right what you want to trade cars trade cars all right you're about to see what she did no this is my favorite now y'all can turn up your headphone at this part I'm gonna mute my voice for a second. So I'm get some water. I, I didn't remember that part second that long. I'm sorry. <laughs> I could have been talking the whole time. 
told me that she was going to wait property. outside till I get on. But anything regarding the, the taking of the property when you, when you try to stop her? She told me that she didn't, this night I was and she didn't take it and she just. But you watched her take everything? Yeah. Okay. Right. But I couldn't tell her nothing until she leave out the store. Okay. You're going to have a good information, man. What is that, a galaxy? And what are you? A cash register? I'm a manager. Assistant so, manager. this is the manager. So, if y'all want to know what happens, apparently she had stole some items away from a Dollar Tree. Um, now, you're going to be surprised at what she actually stole. I know what you're probably thinking she stole, and you're going to think, oh, well, that, I mean, that's fair. I want you to guess what she stole, okay? Put it down in the comments, hopefully, before you see this, or if you're watching this live. Go ahead and tell me, what do you think she stole? Once you see, I'm going to show you all the stuff that she actually stole, and I want you to guess what's stolen and what's not stolen, okay? So let's go ahead and get to the bags. So here's what she stole. What she, here's, here's everything right here. Here's everything they found. All right, take a good look. What? 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 what oops. All right, look. Take a good look. What do you think she took, and what do you think she didn't take, or do you think she took all of this? She had a cell phone on her property. It's gonna be out in the property section, okay? No, her phone. Her phone. You could give her. First of all. First of all. Somebody said in the comment section, people who are watching this after the point, in fact, both of you, the you, somebody on YouTube said soda and somebody else said grape soda. Guys, what? Which one is <laughs> I don't know a whole lot of people who drink grape soda, even black people. Um, I know that's a stereotype, but I'm just saying. Uh, I, I'm black. I've grown up around blacks. My family's black. None of us drink grape soda. Which phone is hers? It must be in a purse. That, it's just not this a good one, flavor. This one right here? No, that's yes. not pink. All right, so everybody's saying that it's the soda. So y'all all think she sold the soda. Okay. This phone right here? It has a pink back on This that, one? That's just ringing right there. His, his, his mic is just jacked up. Every time he talks, it's hard. So we're, gonna, we're about to find out right now what she stole. Those? Property. And speaking of that, how much do y'all think she stole monetarily wise? Like how much money, like if you add up everything she stole and how much money it costs, how much you think it was? Well, whoever says she stole the soda, wrong. Whatever you seen her take. Bam! Okay, so now I'm gonna show y'all how much all that was. I'm gonna show y'all what she actually stole. Cause some of y'all might think she stole. Okay, this is everything. So what she actually stole, guys, was the shower caps, the uh, you know pads. She stole all this, which I think this was probably for a boyfriend or something, cause this is all men products. Um. And she stole the mascara as well as this, uh, I don't know what it is, technically, this shine thing right here. So what she did not steal was the Snickers, the two bags, of the Chex Mix, the Bugles, 
and the soda. So all of the food, all the stuff you can actually eat and drink, she did not steal. She actually paid for it. So how much money do you think she stole in, in, in all? Like, I'm not going to show y'all how much it was. I'm going to continue with the video because I want y'all to see. Because how much, how much goes down, I want y'all to see was it worth it. Was it worth it? Okay. So here's, here's what you, everybody's been looking at. It's where everybody skips to. Please, if you have headphones on, turn them down now. Turn your headphones down now. Even if you have to drown out my voice. I'll turn the video down myself, but also you need to turn down your headphones because there's only so much I can do. All right, here we go. $30. Okay. So what they're going to do is they're going to try to transport her to another car. I'm turning it down now. Turn them down. Turn down on headphones. Hear how much this man freaks out. Give me your hands. Not because of her. I'm talking about out after this whole thing. Give me your hands. No, no, no. no, this bitch stole my no. iPhone Friday. Okay, okay. You get her okay. So some random person rolls up. Some random person rolls up and says, "This is the same bitch who stole my iPhone last Friday." Wow. I bet y'all weren't expecting somebody to just roll up in. Oh, this happens to be that. Give me your hand. That's why I said I don't feel nothing uh, for her. Uh, uh, She's no. a thief. This bitch stole my Go. iPhone Friday. Okay, okay. You get her okay. It's his mic. The way he's got his mic set up, it just sounds terrible. Okay, let go. Let, let go over. Uh, Ellie, are you good? She's okay. Ellie, are you good? I mean, he is freaking out. I'm not going to make y'all sit through that. Just know that it, it pretty much goes like... Elliot, are you good? Elliot, Elliot, are you good? Elliot, it's just, it's just that constantly in your, in your ear. He's struggling to put on these. I want, I want y'all to remember what I said before. Hold on, let's put the camera on me for one second. I want y'all to remember this, okay? I, I don't have my headphones tucked in. I don't have them tucked in. But I want to say this. People who think it's easy to restrain somebody, I say this all the time, it is difficult to restrain somebody against their will. Y'all see how hard he's struggling with this woman. Just keep that in mind every time y'all see this. Because some of you guys get mad at cops when they're really aggressive and you're like, do you have to do all that? Yes, people are stronger than you think. When somebody does not want to be in handcuffs, they are not going to go down easily. And y'all are going to hear his recount of it. Stop, All right. Stop. So pretty much he just yells and yells and yells in your ears. See how You see how he freaks out the whole time? He just yells. Look, it's like dog is standing right there and he's still, Elliot, are you good? Elliot, Elliot, are you good? Anyway, so let's move forward here because his whole yelling thing is going to make my ears fall off. So pretty much she just lays on this ground the whole, and y'all can't even see the video. I'm sorry about that. I saw you see, having y'all right there. But anyway, he's just screaming that whole time, Elliot, are you good? And she's laying here on the ground. And then the uh, police supervisor comes up and they keep telling her, don't move. I don't think she fell that bad, guys, in my opinion. Y'all can go back and watch it. 
But when I watched it a couple times, I don't know how she got so hurt that she, I mean, and I didn't know what she was trying to do when she tried to catch her. Like you could, I'm not being mean, but you could tell that this officer doesn't run a lot enough for her to do this. Watch her. You can tell she's not about that running life. She stumbles within a few minutes. I mean, I mean, a few seconds of running. And her thing was to grab her shirt. And she just... She didn't fall that hard, in my opinion. But, hey, you know, this guy freaked out so bad, like, she snapped her neck. Uh, but anyway. All right, we're going to move forward to the lady. I want y'all to hear the recount of how they talk about her. And how she got out of the handcuffs. I, I'll explain that part. She got out of the handcuffs because she got small wrists and she's double jointed. That's how they explain it. But I want you to hear what he says. So you can hear him say she's strong as hell. And then the supervisor says the same thing. The supervisor says, oh, yeah, she's she's super strong. We had a problem with her the other week. She did the same thing. She broke out of the handcuffs and she ran and she was strong. Now, I'm going to show you all the aftermath of what happened with this young lady. Once again, I have a soft spot for her because she looks like a friend of mine. But at the same time, I don't care. <laughs> she should, but you can see she's pretty busted up and we'll move for a little bit here, a little bit forward here because it's going to show her, uh, it's going to show her kind of blurred out when they show her under the chin, but I want y'all to see her when they get closer. So right here, you can see she's pretty busted up and she's, to me, she's definitely on something. Uh, just because the way she's talking. Well, yeah, I agree with you, Russell. But yeah, she's definitely on something. You can see whatever, whatever, because her blood got pumping when she started running. And so you can see her, when your blood gets pumping, especially if you've done some drugs, boy, they hit on another level. It's like after you get done drinking, that adrenaline rush hits you. Boy. You can see her falling apart worse and worse now. That's why she's kind of like, Yeah, the knees, how... both knees and your chin. Anything else you said? No, everything. My auntie recorded everything. Right. My auntie recorded everything. Right. She ain't way off. Like, she ain't, like, totally tore. But, yeah. So, that's pretty much how it happens, guys. Um, I will say... Ow. Is my microphone turned up or something? Hold on. No? Hold on. ba da ba 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 Okay, we're good. My microphone got turned up for a second because of all that. Anyway, yeah. So that's pretty much what happened, guys. I'm sure y'all saw the video already because it has like over a million views. It obviously, obviously, <laughs> the the title in the thumbnail with this video was a little bit misleading. I'm not knocking the people who made this video. I'm not made the video, but who put this on their channel. Not knocking Vigilant Camp. It just makes it look like the girl knocked her out fleeing. That's not what happened. The cop tripped. That's what caused the cop to hit, end up on the ground. Not because of the person necessarily fleeing and like ran her down or ran her over. She fell over and tripped over her own feet because she probably wasn't used to running in those shoes. Uh, and that's fair. Um, unless, unless she goes jogging in those shoes every day or runs. I'm sure she's not used to running. I don't think she thought she was going to run, so she wasn't prepared to run. She's probably not used to running in those pants. And based off what I heard throughout the entire video, which I watched the whole video, it sounded like she was new. It is. It doesn't sound like she's been on She's been on the force for a few years. It sounded like she was a newer officer. So I bet she wasn't used to running in those uh, that uniform. So anyway, let me know what y'all think, man. Um, obviously, <laughs> 
she got charged with a bunch of stuff. She had possession. She had assault with a deadly weapon, which is what happened earlier. Um, she also, she got assault with a deadly weapon. She got theft. She got resisting arrest and um, whatever you call it when you assaulting an officer. So she going to be down for a little bit. Was it worth it? Oh, yeah. Um, but if you guys got this far, you wonder how much it was for? Twelve dollars and four cents. She stole twelve dollars and four cents worth of stuff. And that is what happened. Twelve dollars and four cents. That's what she did this for. Wow. All right, guys, I'm gone. Peace.